I grew up in Southern California and uh, went to graduate school in Minneapolis and lived in Ann Arbor, Michigan. We lived in Chicago for six years, but Dubuque doesn't take a backseat to any of them. In fact, in a lot of ways, I'd say it would be my favorite. If you've been to Iowa and you've never been to Dubuque, you, you've only seen one part of Iowa. I was looking for a little different uh, quality of life, uh, but I didn't want to give up anything on the career side. It took me an hour to drive 10 miles to work in Kansas City, and in Dubuque now I have a 15 minute commute, and you can't beat that. First, we really looked at, could we live here, and can we make a living here, and, and a life for how we like to live, and we just kind of thought of all the places to live in Iowa, that Dubuque is the place that we want to live in. It's basically wrapped us up um, in an embrace and there's no way that we're going anywhere else. The primary thing that brought me back to the area was a, a job opportunity at Cottingham and Butler. I moved here with my family almost exactly uh, 10 years ago and what uh, brought me here was a job opportunity. I work at uh, Mercy Medical Center here in Dubuque. My husband took a position uh, with the state and that moved us from Des Moines to Dubuque. The job opportunities for us is my wife is a designer and I'm an artist. Your first step would be to check out the AccessDubuqueJobs.com site. Well, AccessDubuqueJobs.com is the gateway to the job opportunities that are available in our community. In many respects, the site's targeted both at people who are in Dubuque uh, who are looking for new opportunities, but also people who have a connection to Dubuque and don't realize what all the opportunities are that are here and maybe they would like to come back. So I went ahead, checked it out, and I found a great job opportunity with McGraw-Hill on the site. In the last two years, we've hired more than 50 employees that have come through that site to us. And these are people who we had no contact with in any other way, and they didn't know about us. And by going to the website, they found that we had job opportunities that matched their experience and what they'd like to go do. And we found candidates that we've been looking all over the place for. I think that one of the biggest perceptions about Iowa is that there isn't a whole lot of job opportunity, when in fact, it's the complete opposite. Dubuque is ranked 11th nationally in job growth. It's not a great compromise in career to go from a big city here to Dubuque. And what I've been able to experience in my professional career has been amazing. Um, and I didn't know that it was here. I think the first thing that surprised me uh, that the, the town had actually a pretty vibrant economy. There's a very strong financial services a group of companies that are growing in Dubuque, some great manufacturing companies, terrific service businesses. For me, being a part of this business community, I have felt nothing but support. And Dubuque has that capability to compete on the global stage. In Dubuque, I feel like I have the tools to do that. Between the, the people that I know and the banks that I've been dealing with, I, ha I know that I can I have a personal connection to the community in developing that business. There's an underlying spirit of um, optimism in the community and progressivism and uh, positive attitude about the future. There's a lot more culture aspects that are, you know, kind of becoming a, an important part of Dubuque, whereas I think when I went to high school here, it was a little bit more plain Jane. Because we had lived in uh, Fort Lauderdale and St. Paul and then here, so we we're used to these bigger cities and getting anything you want as far as arts and entertainment. And yet there's enough uh, diversity of things to do that for people who want that opportunity, they can do that. Well, I really like how the downtown area and the, the riverfront area is really just taking on its its own new look. One of my more favorite places to be in Dubuque is on Eagle Point Park. I think going up there is just, it's so gorgeous. And uh, the Mines of Spain recreation area, there's some great outdoor places. You're never at a loss for what to do here. And for those who want to take it to the next level, uh, Dubuque is centrally located where you can get to a Chicago, a St. Louis, a Minneapolis, a Madison to get to some of those attractions that might not ordinarily be available in a city like Dubuque. Honestly, I think what surprised us the most after we were here a little while was um, the quality of the school system. I think our public school system is terrific. Then when you add on to it, three colleges that are in town, plus NICC, which is a community college, plus the University of wisconsin Platteville, which is within 20 minutes, we really have five institutions of higher learning in a city of 60,000 people. We kind of viewed that as a, as a bonus. 
the first thing that comes to mind for me is just quality of life uh, for the family, the ability to have you know, an environment that you feel very safe with. Moving from the Twin Cities to here, it's, it's not as much of a concern. It's nice to be able to kind of just walk outside at night and sit on the porch or not always lock your door. And it just feels like a safe place to, to bring up children. Some of the recent recognitions that Dubuque has been noted for is that we're an all-American city. We're one of the top 100 communities to raise children. And also the educational system within the greater Dubuque area is some of the best in America. The people here is what's more unique than a place like a Chicago or St. Paul or Kansas City. I always tell folks that when my wife and I lived in Chicago uh, for about nine years, she made more friends in Dubuque in the first year than we made there in nine years. It's almost an optimum size. It's um, large enough that it has uh, plenty of resources, um, richness, um, vibrancy of the community, a lot going on, lots of great people doing uh, different things, wide variety of activity, and yet it's small enough you can still kind of get your arms around it and you can um, feel like you belong and that you're really uh, part of the community. And, and the cost of life and the pace of life is great here and it still has all the amenities that you can get in a bigger city. You just have that moment in time where you know that you're spending all of your vacation going home to see family. You know, you're working long hours, maybe you have that day where you're sitting in traffic and you just really miss the quality of life that you had when you were living in a smaller community. The city continues uh, to invest in its growth. With the efforts that are being put forth by all the organizations in this community, um, it's not even smart to predict. Dubuque has really changed. You know, if you went to grade school or high school here, you really should check it out again. I remember driving over the Iowa-Illinois bridge for the first time in about five years and thinking, wow, I can't believe how much I've missed. The, the thing that surprised me is that this feels like a large community and a small community at the same time. This town is on the move. You'll see continued enhancements to the quality of life, continued enhancements to the restaurants, continued enhancements to the schools, and I think you're going to see a great environment for businesses to grow. I think you'll be surprised at what opportunities exist here in Dubuque. Dubuque is like completely different than what Iowa, what people think of Iowa. It both embodies and defies uh, some of the stereotypes of Iowa. I think it has everything that is best about the Midwest and about the state of Iowa and a lot of extras that you might not expect to find here. It looked like a place that we wanted to make home. <laughs>